The Assam Medical College and Hospitals Administration has initiated a slew of measures to ensure women's safety and security in the campus, particularly during night hours in the aftermath of the horrific rape and murder episode which took place at RG Kaur Medical College and Hospital in West Bengal recently. The issue had shook the entire nation with doctors hitting the streets all throughout the country. It might be mentioned that AMCH is the oldest and premier medical education institution in the Northeast region. Hundreds of patients come to the institution for treatment of various types of ailments, not only from all the eastern Assam districts, but also from neighboring states like Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, AMCH Principal and Chief Superintendent Dr. Sanjeev Kakuti said that the AMCH administration, after discussing the matter with various concerning departments, which includes the Dibrugar District Administration and police, has taken up some urgent measures to ensure women's safety and security inside the huge campus. Kakuti said that although there are CCTV cameras installed at various locations in the campus, the administration has drawn out a massive and elaborate plan to install more CCTV cameras inside the campus. A plan and estimate of around 16 lakhs have been prepared by the administration for the purpose. An internal complaint committee headed by Vice Principal Dr. Rima Nath had been activated to address the issues related to safety in the workplace for women and security for women staff and students during night hours. Free transportation with lady security personnel will be provided to the female staff during night hours. It is not a question of night, it is the question of 24 hours and safety from both inside and outside and to be looked into and also the improvement of the working environment and giving an atmosphere or environment where the junior lady doctors can open up, easily communicate if any issue they have apprehending and that is very important. If someone is apprehending and not being having the courage to speak up to the higher authorities, then the incidents happen. So now we have gone to the grassroots level, talking to them. If we have any issue, they come to us. And we have got also already an existing committee, and we are reforming a new committee also look into the matters. CCTV coverage already, it was there, and we are now again having a look into it if there is any malfunctioning in somewhere. Whole campus to put under CCTV coverage, I have already discussed to the district authority. Our district commissioner was here just now and have submitted a proposal so that we can enter streets also put, can be put under CCTV coverage. Similarly, and a telephone number for, um, to call, SOS call, will be available already within two days it will be activated so anyone can give a call for that. And night shift workers for transportation wherever needed. We are arranging it within a short, short time. And lightning of the campus already there, you have possibly seen our campus at night. It is a very well illuminated campus. But still, if it is, I have PW engineer with me just now, I instructed strictly, whichever light is not functioning, you do it. And at the last, I request all of you, our whole community, to keep the environmental sanctity so that doctors can serve with keeping their head high and the best possible way and having no fear in their mind. Meanwhile, the Dibrugar District Police too have chalked out strategies on the same issue. In an exclusive interview, V.V. Rakesh Reddy, Superintendent of Police uh, Dibrugar, said that police patrolling, which will also have lady constables, have been activated during the night hours in the campus. We have reviewed the entire security gamut, especially for the women uh, employees, the nurse, staff, and also the PG women who stays there in the MCH. So specific night women patrolling teams have been formed. Uh, entire night they will be roaming around in the campus of MCH, mostly focusing on the wards where women doctors, nurses, or employees work, and also the uh, working women hostels there. We have not restricted that to only to MCH, of course, uh, because there are other hospitals in the Brugger which are outside the campus of MCH. They are private hospitals, they are nursing homes. So we reviewed a comprehensively, we have reviewed. We wanted to check the entry points of and the exit points of all these places, whether the CCTV cameras are installed. If not, we are already contacting the agencies. 
and not only the Brugger town, uh, as a matter of fact, the Brugger district has also have smaller areas and uh, town-sized places like Dulyajan, Moran, Harkati and the other places. So all OCs and ICs have been briefed to have a team which is vigilant in the entire night, wherever the women pockets are there, where women are working late night, suppose till 9 p.m. or late night, or where they'll have the shifts, night duty shifts be it hospitality industry, there is uh, airport, aviation industry, malls, there are call centers, uh, there are colleges where working women hostels are also there. So all these areas we have comprehensively covered and the process has already started. And AMCH we have already started long before because uh, there were issues regarding women safety that were cropping up in between. So we made sure that the women teams are there regularly. So there is a sense of safety and security. In the aftermath of the Calcutta horrific rape and murder case, the AMCH administration in Dibrugar has taken up a slew of measures to ensure safety and security of its working women staff as well as female students in the campus. And also accordingly, the Dibrugar police administration has taken up certain steps and also advised, issued in fact some advisories all throughout the district, not only for the staff of Assam Medical College and Hospital, but also where women work during the night hours uh, to the administrators, to the such as malls and all, to ensure safety and security of the women staff. With camera person Pranip, this is Ripunjaya Das reporting from Dibrugar for Northeast Live.